The first step in the bucking process is to determine the bind that the log is in, that you're about to buck. This log here, we have this end of the log supported in the air with nothing underneath it. We've got a kind of a pivot point here with this. So, and we're going to buck it in this position here. It's going to drop that end of the log. So the wood on the top is now pulling apart. It's under tension and the wood on the bottom is in compression. It's trying to push together. So as we buck this log, we'll start our cut. We'll align our saw. 90 degrees to the log, start our cut. We'll roll over to the other side, cut the far side, then we'll bring the saw back, and as we go down through the log, we'll watch that kerf and see that it's opening. As long as it's opening, we're fine. We can continue to cut on down through the log. Now that we've determined where we're going to buck and the bind, we need to clean our work area out. Any tripping hazards that may be behind us, around us, we need to have the area where we're going to stand so that when we make our release cut, we're only using the portion of the bar that we need to finish the cut, and we can step back away from the log as it drops. We also have to look at the far side of the log for any type of debris over here that might cause a kickback or that our tip might come in contact with when we're making the bucking cut. So the next thing, now that we have our work area cleared behind us, we'll clean this out before we start our bucking cut. You can see, when we got close to the bottom, we were only using the portion of our bar that we needed to finish the bucking cut, and we were able to step away. If any log movement unexpected comes towards you, this is a safety factor that you're not in that area.